Hello, welcome to the next exercise from level four, long roll development, open to close, played as written. So we've done the open to close roll before in level three, uh, where you just done a gradual build into the roll and then a gradual build out of the roll. With this one, you've got to play it as it's written. All right, so if I zoom out enough for us to see the whole page, there we are. So crotchets, one, two, one, two. So mummy daddies, one and two, and one knee and a two knee and a, and then semi cleavers. So let's get a feel for what each line is getting us to play. First line's easy, just crotchets on the beat. Very, very easy. Second line is quavers. Again, very easy. Semis. Again, nice and easy. Semi semis. And then you break into the roll at that point is when you break into the roll. So the tricky bit I feel for you is might be breaking from the semi quavers here going into the demi semis. Okay, you have to be bold and really by that point you've had three lines worth of feeling that beat. Okay. And then when you go into the fourth, it should be a smooth transition. So what we'll do before we try it is try the fourth line on its own. All right. So I'm going to try just the those doubles there and keep them as even and relaxed as you can. One, two, go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And I'm doing a buzz there, because that's the next line. We're going to be doing drum rolls there. Let's try it again. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And notice I'm not here. All right, we're not needing that. You don't need to play as high as that. All right, you might find that you need to go there. So be it, but just get rid of that. You don't need it. One more. One, two, one, two, buzz. Okay, and then your next line is drum rolls. A lot of folk will say to you, play the buzzes the same speed as the roll. Okay, if that helps you, so be it. All right, but you might find, you might find it quite tricky to do the buzzes at that speed. Okay. So I always say to folk when you're doing this, just put an extra notch on the rolls. So you'll be here. All right, and it keeps the rolls nice and smooth. Try the rolls. One, two. And you need to make sure the right hand's landing on these minims. Right. Miss, right, miss, right, miss, right, miss. Then you're back to your semi semis. So I'll do the rolls once more and feel for that right. Don't go bigger on that right. Just feel for it. One, two. So right, miss, right, miss, right, miss, right, miss. And even on the miss, I'm landing on my right hand. One, two, right, 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 right. Right, 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 right. And then you're back into your demi semi quavers. So I feel these three lines are going to be the trickiest. All right, so I'm going to try those three lines. Let's do it. In fact, let's zoom in a touch just so we can see those three lines a bit clearer. There, let's do that. So the three lines that are highlighted after two. Doubles. One, two, one, two. Rolls. Right, right, two, two, one, two, one. Back to doubles. And I'm stopping on this quaver here. Okay? So let's do that again. One, two, right. Doubles. 
and I'll do it last time, and then we're going to do the whole page. One, two. One, two, one, two, roll. Right, two, one, two, one, two, doubles. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then we're in the semis, which would be... Let's zoom out so we can see the whole page. Uh, zoom out a touch more. Let me see the whole page. Boom, there it is. So I'm going to do the whole page and do it twice. Okay, so top to bottom after two. Ready? One, two, go. Ready? Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Then one and two and one. That's the whole page, and we'll do it once more. So you've got plenty to play along to. From the top, one, two, crotchets, and then quavers. Semi quavers. Any semi quavers. Do not disregard the last line. Done. Because what a lot of folk do is when they get to the last line, or at right, the very end, and they're finished, and they're like, Phew, done. And they muck up. All right, so maintain your tempo all the way through to the very, very end. And what you might find is a decent exercise, as we've done there. It's going between those three back and forth. All right, or taking the tempo up a touch and repeating the whole page. Alright, so just repeating it over and over again. And then gradually cranking it up and gradually cranking it up. Okay, so that whoa, is the long roll development open the closed full video. Okay, and then our next video will be five stroke rolls. And I believe we'll have the five, yep, yeah, it'll be five, seven, and nine, and thirteens. So our next video will be five stroke roll development.